Hello, my name is Dr. Mikolai Rashek, recording this video from beautiful Canmore, Alberta. And this short video is dedicated to explaining different types of genetic mutations. So to start with, let's go with the ones that we are most familiar with. And those are the type of DNA mutations that we actually inherit from our parents. These are referred to as germline mutations. Once we inherit these type of mutation, they will be present in the DNA of all of our cells. And therefore, these type of mutations are the easiest to look for, the easiest to probe for, and must are most commonly tested for in the DNA tests. You can test for literally thousands of different genetic conditions uh, at a time, if you like, with a test such as full genome sequencing. That could include some very rare conditions to even common common problems that affect our society, such as um, certain cardiovascular conditions. Um, not many people are aware that many of the heart problems actually have a genetic component uh, component to it. So that's one one good example. The opposite of that would be the type of mutations that arise in your DNA after your birth. So they accumulate in your body, anywhere in your body, after your birth, any type of cell could actually have a new mutation. So you can almost think that you will have different type of mutations spread out in different areas of your body uh, as these uh, mu mutations slowly accumulate throughout the lifespan. However, what can happen is that these type of mutations can accumulate and pass a certain threshold to cause a disease. And cancer is one perfect example of that. Majority of cancers arise strictly due to such type of mutations, the type of mutations that were produced in our body after our birth. By the way, these type of mutations are called somatic mutations. So this is the distinction between germline mutation. These are referred to as somatic mutations. Nevertheless, there is also a heritable component to some of the cancers. Approximately 10 to 15 percent of cancer patients will actually have inherited mutations from their parents that have predisposed them to cancer development. Usually those inherited mutations are not enough to cause cancer and further events have to take place that will result in additional mutations, somatic mutations, and it's the accumulation that eventually will cross that certain threshold where cancer can develop. There are other diseases as well, not just cancer, that can arise due to somatic mutations. An example of that could be some of the autoimmune conditions. And you can also test somatic mutations, especially in cancer. It's very valuable because it provides an understanding of how a cancer arose, but also, even more importantly, it can provide information on how a particular cancer could be potentially treated. So this is the distinction between the two types of mutations. Number one is the germline mutations. Those are the mutations that we were born with and they'll be present in all of the cells of your body versus somatic mutations. Those are the mutations that arise in your body after your birth and they can be present only in a specific portion of your body. So I hope that helps you understand the distinction between the two. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we are looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.